Alkaline water and the trend. Is it something that we should jump on the bandwagon with or is it just a bunch of hype? That's what we'll be covering right now. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty, and this is Sean K's Beauty Bar, where we grab from the bar and discuss all things beauty. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m., you leave your questions in the comment section below. I feature them here on this platform. If it requires my scientific knowledge, I will bring it to that. I also do makeup tutorials, and we just discuss everything beauty. I'm happy to announce that I will be starting another channel for my DIYs, and I know you guys are interested in my DIYs, so I wanted to do a dedicated channel to that. But for the sake of this video, let's take a deep dive into alkaline water. And this was a question that was posed to me by the beautiful Linda, who's one of my subscribers here on YouTube, and it seemed like she had people backing her on it and wanted me to talk about it. So I'm gonna bring my microbiology and biochemistry to this, but in a way that you can explain this to somebody that you love or someone in your concentric circle. I'm not interested in getting people confused on scientific jargon. It doesn't help you or me. So let's take a deep dive into the benefits. Uh, should we be drinking this? Should we stay away from this whole trend? And what is it really? So that's what we're gonna discuss right now. So alkaline solutions are bases or compounds that are dissolved in water, whether it's detergent, whether it's soap, uh, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, sodium carbonate, uh, or sodium bicarbonate, which is actually baking soda. Um, if you dissolve that in water, then you're going to have what is called an alkaline solution. Now, alkaline water refers to the measure of pH, pH being potential hydrogen. And if you were in chemistry class, you would remember the pH scale from zero to 14. Seven in the middle is neutral. This is your regular water, right? Anything below seven is acidic and anything above seven is basic or what we call alkaline. So the pH scale really does determine whether something is acidic or basic. So think acids like lemon juice, um, apple cider vinegar, um, pineapple juice. If you're talking on the uh, basic side, let's talk about like oven cleaners, bleach, ammonia, all of them are more on the basic side. Soap is even very, very basic. So here's the thing that is trending about alkaline water, right? Here are the claims. It helps with digestion. It boosts your immunity. It helps to boost hydration. It gives you more energy. It fights against cancer. It gets rid of acid reflux. Um, it helps you with weight loss. But are these claims really true is the question. And the answer is, there's not enough scientific research to prove this. The water industry has done a great job of marketing alkaline water to you in a way that makes you feel as if you need to do this. But there's not enough scientific research findings to prove that these claims are true. Here's one of the things that scientists are looking at, and that is the acid reflux claim. Because the alkalinity of water will actually inhibit uh, pepsin, which causes acid reflux, it is said that the more alkaline the environment internally will actually inhibit that and therefore uh, reduce acid reflux. If you do this for a long period of time, you're going to have a lot of digestive issues because the internal organs like the stomach, the GI tract, are acidic in nature. If you start to add something alkaline to an acidic environment, you're going to get neutrality where it's going to be neutralized. The reason why we don't wanna neutralize the internal organs is because acidity actually fights against pathogens, helps to digest your food. The stomach by nature produces something called hydrochloric acid that helps to fight off harmful microflora from wreaking havoc in the internal organs. It will also inhibit 
enzymatic activity from being at its optimal performance in helping to digest food. So you don't want to drink something that's going to be alkaline because all of this is going to counteract what the body is normally wanting to do. So what companies have done or bottle water companies have done is they started making their own alkaline water. And what they do through these machines is actually subject water to electricity by something called electrolysis. That's the name of the process. So electrolysis is actually the ability to do is they split the water molecules and they separate out the acidic side from the alkaline side. And the alkaline solution that they get from this process is what they term alkaline water and they add calcium uh, hydroxide, they would add magnesium, potassium, uh, sodium bicarbonate to this water as well. Now, I know that there are naturally occurring springs that tend to be more alkaline that people claim in France and Italy that clears up their skin. But again, that is due to the minerals that's in that water, not because the water is alkaline. Because if you guys remember that I mentioned on this video, the microbiomes on your face prefer a more acidic environment to work at optimal performance. Our face is naturally acidic, just like our stomach is. The stomach's acidity is between a one and a two, so a very acidic environment. And the acid mantle, or the acidic mantle on the face, for a woman is a 5.5, for a man is 5.8. So if we start using alkaline solutions or alkaline water on our skin, we're going to end up with dryness, irritation, eczema, psoriasis, all of these issues happen because alkaline solutions are very drying. So hence the reason why they would say use toners that are pH balanced right after you wash your face because the water tends to be more alkaline that comes from our faucet, less you have a water softening system. Now, adversely, we don't want acidic water because acidic water is corrosive, okay? That has a lot of trace metals in it and it actually will eat away a pipe. So imagine what it would do to you internally and especially in children, it lends to vomiting, diarrhea, and in more cases than not can be very, very fatal. So we wanna find a happy medium with drinking water. Regular water is fine. So let me talk about some of the water that is being bottled to us that is not good for you to drink. And if you're drinking this water, I say today, stop drinking this water. So here are three waters that are falling within a pH of a four and a five. And one of them is Dasani, the other one is Voss, and the next one is Life Water. Dasani and Voss are at a pH of four. Life water is at a pH of five. So here are the waters that are really good to drink because if you could find water between a seven and an eight, you're okay. So Fiji is great water. Smart water is awesome. Um, Zephyr Hills is another great one to drink as well. Avion, another great water to go ahead and start drinking if you want to have something that's gonna be really good for you. But I would not fall into the trend of spending all of this money on water that is claiming to be alkaline because the more that we do things over time, it will tell its story. Another thing you don't want with alkaline water with using on the face is that it actually uh, weakens the ability of the face to ward off metalloproteinases. This is an enzyme that actually wreaks havoc on collagen and lends to wrinkles and sagging of the skin. So again, this alkaline water thing, it's no good. And I'm letting you all know this information for you to make your best informed decision. Let's not get caught up on trends and hype. There's no scientific research enough to back this whole alkaline water trend. And water companies are doing a great job of getting your dollars to follow this trend. Alkaline water is known to prohibit electrolyte production. So what ends up happening is 
you're suffering your heart from getting the electrolytes that it needs to keep on pumping. It's also causing uh, the overproduction of harmful bacteria to happen in the stomach. When the stomach wants to be acidic and it wants to produce hydrochloric acid that is going to destroy harmful microflora and you know, really keep you safe. So why are we doing alkaline water? I have no idea. The body does a good job of healing itself. It knows what it's doing. When we start messing around with mother nature, we're gonna tell the story on the back end. And when you neutralize the environment that wants to be acidic, you're looking at potential health risks and fatality. So drinking alkaline water is a no-no. Using it on your face is an absolute no. If you can help it, don't use it. So this, I hope, was helpful to you, Linda, and anyone else who was advocating me talking about this topic. I'm glad I can bring my biochemistry and my microbiology to this. If you want to do your own testing, get a pH strip. You'll see that it turns litmus paper blue and solutions that are alkaline tend to be very slippery. So again, these are just some, um, this is just some insight about this whole alkaline water trend. Whether you're cooking, whether you're drinking water, whether you're planting, whatever it is, gardening, it all boils down to science. Hopefully this was helpful. Do subscribe, give this a thumbs up, do share it, help someone who wants to know about alkaline water and hopefully this provides some insight. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao for now.